Hello my friends and welcome to the video. So it's been a little while since we've done our last Q&A and so I did ask you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram from this photo right here. So let's just dive right into it. How tall are you? I am five foot 11. How is married life, my friend? So nothing's really changed since we got married. Um, honestly, we just still live the same life that we lived before. Now we both just wear rings, which, um, yeah, I mean, nothing's really changed. We still do the same things that we've done before. Still continuing to work hard, be a good person, uh, support each other when we need each other. And yeah, so nothing's really changed. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I can't really say anything that has changed. If I came to Florida, would you and Laura be willing to meet up and take a photo? Sure, absolutely. Just send me a DM on Instagram. Let me know when you're coming and then we can kind of figure that out. Maybe we can meet at Favo Donuts, eat a donut, cheers, and uh, we can definitely take a photo. What got you into fitness? So I really got into fitness after breaking my neck. So I did break two vertebrae and that really changed my whole skateboarding career. Well, honestly, if you guys don't no, I never really talked about it as much if you're new to the channel, but yeah, I used to be a professional skateboarder and traveled the world, had boards with my name, shoes and all that stuff. But in 2011, I broke two vertebrae and then that kind of like changed my whole career path because I started going to physical therapy and I, I really liked the process of getting stronger every time I went. So they had me doing all kinds of different exercises to strengthen my back, my neck and all that. and. I enjoyed it and then I ended up getting a gym membership started working out and I was still trying to balance skating and working out and I did that for a few years I continued skating and then even in like 2014 I did the real street x games competition um, and then after that it was just kind of like around 2015 where I was just more focused on fitness and I had already done everything that I've done in skateboarding and the thought of like trying to top what I've done I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna really focus on fitness and um, here we are. How do you maintain your weight? So for me, I like tracking macros. That works well for me and I'm very active. I'm on my feet every single day for the most part of the day and I work out five times per week and while doing strength training, hypertrophy, CrossFit and I just, I don't know, I've been very well in tune with my body ever since I got into fitness. I really dialed into learning macros and how to track and how to manipulate my body composition, how much I should be taking in. Um, and yeah, I, I just really know how my body works. So what I would recommend everybody do is just start a little data log of your body weight, how much food you're eating, and just look at the data over the course of two weeks, four weeks, six months, you know, X amount of time and you can kind of see the trend like, oh, I been on these calories and macros for X amount of time and my weight has not moved one bit. Well, there you go. You have your maintenance or like, oh, the, the weight started to slowly go up. So you're like, all right, I'm just going to add in an extra session of cardio or I can pull back maybe 100 calories and then be patient, wait about two weeks, four weeks and see where the trend is going. And then if you're just kind of maintaining and they're like, all right, there's your maintenance or you start losing weight, like, oh, I'm in a deficit. So we have many days on this earth and I highly recommend you guys experiment and try it out with your own bodies. Yes, there are many calculators online that can help you. And also I do coach as well. If you guys are interested, I can coach you and I can help you guys out with that as well. So I will leave the information in the description box if you guys were interested in that. What's your opinion on drinking alcohol as cheat meal instead of food? Honestly, I think alcohol is a complete waste of calories. I mean, yes, it's nice to drink every once in a while and kind of feel like a little buzz and like be social and, and have a good time. But in terms of like it being something that's very frequent, I don't see the benefit. I mean, that's just coming from me. Um, I kind of look at my body as like a machine and if I'm just putting alcohol and poison into it, it's not going to operate the way I want it to. You know, especially if I go drinking, like I know I'm going to feel horrible the next day and it's not worth losing an entire day. You know, as I'm getting older, running businesses, I 
prioritize my time and if I'm gonna waste the whole day feeling sick and not being able to get the task done that I need to then it just doesn't the pros and the cons just don't weigh out so um, yeah I mean that's just me I mean if you guys drink on the weekends you guys do what you do and you can still function fine and get everything done for me I personally don't like the way it makes me feel the next day it messes up my stomach um, and I just don't feel good. I just feel kind of like cloudy, like in a daze a little bit. It always messes up my sleep as well. And I really do prioritize my sleep because if I'm not sleeping well, I'm not recovering well. Therefore, I'm not gonna be able to train well. And yeah, you guys are kind of seeing where this is going. Best remedies for bloating and constipation. Um, if you're having issues with your gut health, I would definitely look into maybe some digestive enzymes or even maybe try a little bit of intermittent fasting. It could just be some foods that are messing up your stomach and then you can kind of slowly introduce them and just kind of see how your body responds and again like i mentioned before we have many days on this earth so you can maybe practice trying to do like an elimination diet i would highly recommend starting with gluten and dairy removing those from your diet for like x amount of time see how you feel and then slowly reintroduce and see how you feel analyze have a little log and just kind of see how you respond i would like to get a good body like you i have been eating just protein but nothing changed so when it comes down to like say like someone's like oh i'm eating healthy or oh i'm eating good or oh I, i'm doing carnivore you can still gain weight by doing these things by still overeating you know just because you're eating clean you can eat too much chicken rice and broccoli and still get fat you know like people say oh chicken rice and broccoli because it's very simple it's kind of bland and nobody's gonna like be late at night and be like, oh, I'm gonna go grab a bag of broccoli and, and binge on it. You know, it's like chips or cookies or whatever, those easy foods to just grab and like sit on the couch and watch TV and before you know it, like holy moly, I just ate six servings of chips or something like that. You know, so it really does come down to the m amount of food you're eating, your activity level, and just where your current metabolic state is at. And again, like I mentioned before, I do coaching and if you needed help with that, I could definitely help and do all the guesswork for you. And then all you have to do is execute and follow the plan and we can get you to the results that you do want. But yeah, again, you can easily overeat on healthy, clean foods, but what's most important is calories in versus calories out. How old are you, my friend? I am 38 years old. My birthday is July 29th, so big three eight what's been the longest run since the marathon uh i think my longest run was five miles since the marathon and that was like a few months ago uh, i'm not running as often as i was before but actually this morning i did run uh 5k just to just for some fitness um but yeah i haven't like Done any like long distance running in a while how many times do you work out so i do work out uh, about five times per week it's usually like monday tuesday wednesday and then i'll usually rest on thursdays and then i'll train on friday and saturday best exercises to lose love handles so unfortunately you cannot spot reduce fat you can't choose where you want the fat to come off but if you do stay consistent with your calorie deficit over time those little areas will start to melt away so if you think about it like a, a pile of snow so there's a pile of snow the sun is just beating on it and it's melting from the inside but you can still see a pile there and over time that pile gets smaller and smaller and smaller you know looking at it every single day you don't really notice a change but you know after like two three weeks then you look at it again you're like oh wow it's definitely gotten smaller so definitely be patient and body fat comes from everywhere you know if you want to lose fat on say your, your love handles but you still have a good amount of fat on your arms um, your chin your thighs or whatever like it's gonna be coming off in those areas and those love handles might be the very last spot that it does come off but again you got to be patient and um, it'll come off what's next for the BMW so what's next for the BMW I still haven't brought it to the dyno I have been working out the bugs with the car so I did figure out a few things I was having an issue with the boost controller which I'm pretty sure I got that all dialed out now I did relocate it it was on the firewall before and now I moved it more to the front of the engine closer to the wastegate and the turbo because I had the vacuum lines running along inside the fender and then the boost controller was on the firewall and so when I closed my hood if you look at a BMW, the hood goes up this way and then it closes down 
that way, but there's a lever on that side. So the lever, the scissor lever would come down and it was actually pinching the vacuum lines. And, and I didn't know until I, I tested it out the other day. And the car just wasn't reading the correct boost pressure. It was oscillating back and forth like crazy. I tried to change the PID settings in the ECU as well. And just like nothing was working. I was like, man, is, is my wastegate screwed up? I pulled the wastegate off, tested the wastegate, changed the spring, and then I finally relocated the boost controller and we are good to go now. The boost is reading pretty steady, but before it'd be like, which is kind of weird, but now it's like pretty consistent at where I need it to be. So uh, hopefully soon be going to the dyno. I did order some new wheels for the rear because uh, I wanted to go with a wider rim so that way I could put more tire to the ground because right now these things just spin the tires like crazy, like crazy. Like I just lay into it in third gear and then the tires just roast. It's, it's funny. Lauda's actually like scared when the car like skates a little bit like that. She's like, why does it do that? I was like, it just has a lot of power and the tires are spinning, but obviously I'm, I'm staring the car to go where we're going, but it just kind of freaks her out a little bit, especially when there's like cars on the side of us. But yeah, some new wheels coming soon. I'll, I'll have to do an update on the car pretty soon. Do you get hungrier when you cut? Um, yeah. So what I've been doing on my cut, I've been doing some intermittent fasting, so I don't eat in the morning. So that way I can have all those calories, like say like breakfast and a snack is what someone would usually have before 12 o'clock. Instead of eating that, I wait until 12 o'clock and then I eat from like 12 till whenever I go to bed, which is like, you know, 8.30s, like roughly where I have my last meal. And then I'm in bed by like 10ish or something. So usually from like 12 to say nine, I'm eating, but it puts all of those calories in that smaller window. So I think I'm eating more food, but I'm just eating in a smaller window. So it's making me feel more full. So that is a good strategy to use. I like using intermittent fasting when I'm dieting. When I'm on maintenance calories or trying to gain, I don't like to use intermittent fasting because then I'm just overly full and I don't want to be that full when I'm just at maintenance. But when I'm dieting, I always feel like I want to be full. So uh, intermittent fasting works really well. When is the next cheat day video? So I'm definitely going to do another cheat day after my cut. Probably, I would say, and in, in like two weeks or something. So the cut would be like three to four-ish weeks, but we're getting towards the tail end and I definitely made some really good progress. Be sure to check out my other video on my cutting diet. And also I did do a video on refeeds as well, but stay tuned, we'll do another cheat day coming up. Best workout to grow glutes and legs. So there is not just one best workout, but there are a few exercises that are really effective. Um, Personally, I love squatting. So back squatting, front squatting, full range of motion. Uh, lunges are amazing. Every time I do lunges, my glutes are always like super, super sore. Like, and again, I'm not always trying to like target my glutes to grow my glutes. Um, I just have really good glute genetics and I don't skip leg day. And also, Laura and I do have a booty band company, which those are really great for activation. So if you're doing lunges and then you never feel like your glutes get sore or you're squatting, you don't feel your glutes get sore, then they just might not be activated. So we do have booty bands that do help with the activation and give you a better muscle mind connection. So we always do these warm ups before we actually squat and your glutes are very strong. They're very powerful. And if they're not turning on during your squats, then you're missing out on a lot of strength that you could be gaining. So yeah, if you guys did want to check out the booty bands, I will leave a link in the description box down below. And I think you guys could find those very helpful. How often do you fast and can we get a 48 hour fast video soon? Thanks. Um, so yeah, like I just spoke about, I've been fasting since I started my cut. So I just do intermittently every day. Uh, I just basically wake up, I skip breakfast, and then I don't eat until about 12 ish. So again, that helps me feel like I'm eating more calories. But yeah, definitely I'll do a 48 hour fast video soon, sometime later on after my cut's over, and just share with you guys how I do them, why I do them, and how you guys could do them as well. I do think they are very beneficial, uh, just for overall health, and also if you have some unwanted fat you can focus on losing. Uh, when you're in the fasted state, it's literally burning pure body fat rather than your hard earned muscle tissue if you do it correctly, you know, like you, you don't want to be consuming any beverages that have any calories because that will pull you out of the fast. 
But yeah, stay tuned. I'll do another 48 hour fast video coming soon. Well, alrighty guys, I think that's gonna be it for today. I hope you guys did enjoy this little question and answer. And if you guys have any more questions, leave them down here in the comment section down below. And then I will come back to these questions and make another video and uh, maybe another few weeks or something. But yeah, definitely let me know if you did enjoy it. And again, be sure to follow me on Instagram because that is where all of these questions came from. And I'll just kind of be going back and forth and uh, just kind of have a little bit of variety here. So, all right, that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.